Welcome to another week here at Tutorial My dad has been working on getting all the house cleaned, taking the nails out and the screws out that we had in the ceilings and the walls everywhere still left. And then on Saturday, my dad and I, we took two loads to the landfill. We got up early so we can get two loads done quickly enough in the morning. And then um, I was working on the electrical while he started again, um, continue on the cleaning. Um, we probably still have a few more days this week to clean. Um, he's going to vacuum the entire house. He's going to try to get the majority of the dust out. Um, all the plaster, all the little lath pieces that were still left over stragglers are all gone now. And now we just have to really just do deep cleaning. Um, on the electrical front, uh, we have made some pretty good progress. I have set almost all the single gang boxes for all the outlets. Um, I still have to do light switches. Um, I still obviously have to do ceiling, um, the lights, the light boxes where we have hanging lights. Um, so all of that stuff still has to be done. I, we won't be able to get, get that done this week, but that's gonna just continue, the electrical just gonna continue next week.
So I'm working on installing all the different breaker panels, sub breaker panels on all the floors. We want to do one per floor to make it easy instead of uh, lights are out in a floor or in a room. We don't have to walk all the way into the basement to the main breaker panel to get everything going again. We want to put the uh, breaker panel on each floor. Um, we obviously need to put it at a, uh, at a spot that is somewhat convenient and somewhat or even allowed. Um, and then the other issue that we have is some of the old um, framing that was done isn't the right width. So I cannot really install it besides if I would um, top mount it. But obviously nobody wants to see a breaker panel sitting on the outside somewhere. So we are finding just spaces that make sense and also are by code even allowed. So I would normally in this floor, I'm on the second floor where all the bedrooms are i would love to put it into the laundry room but because it's a wet area um, you're not allowed to mount it there so um, i'm just going to mount it right in front of it in that little hallway between the laundry and laundry room and elias's room so yeah so let's get started so according to code here you have to mount it at least 78 inches from the floor from the top of the panel. I am not an expert, so bear with me. I believe we are talking about here 78 from the top of the rough box and not of the cover. So I am just gonna install it right there at 78 inches and I should probably be sufficient. Um, also, it's important when you install it, there's a lip, of course. Um, there's obviously the, the pan itself doesn't have a lip, but since you can install it top mount or also flush mount, you need to make sure, depending on how thick your drywall um, or wall covering is gonna be, you need to make sure you push the box out far enough that that would then be flush, or the front edge would then be flush with that um, whole area or with the, with the wall covering, so that when you put the cover on, it is flush, it covers all the wall uh, panel completely. Here you can see my dad during the week also removed all the lath behind the trim on the stairs so that we can actually when we, fin we finish all the walls we actually have an easier time uh, installing the purple board and then doing the plaster over it. One of the things that happened while I was gone this week and my dad was working here um, one of the old pipes that was used for the Philadelphia gutters just started to slide down and actually made a double hole in our floor here and then it actually landed um, on the left there is a little dent close to the wall it actually landed down there um, and got stopped by the bottom sill of the house and he broke the window out this way of the bathroom but um, it didn't hit anybody we already removed the pipe before i could take any video but yeah things like that happen still we have one more pipe similar to this one an iron old iron pipe that is still in the house we have to cut it out next week um, we just have to buy uh, get some tools so we can take it out. <clears throat> this one over here was much larger, you can see. Comparatively, it's basically the size of a hand, the hole. So if we would have hit somebody, that would have obviously been very dangerous. And it just went through this floor like nothing. 
it's so nice to have everything cleaned or at least rough cleaned there's obviously a lot of dust still in the house on the floors everywhere but for the rest of the construction period i'm sure there will be more dust that we will make especially with doing taking more uh drilling more through the through the wood and then also putting all the purple board up that's going to be a mess also so this is probably going to be a state that we will have for a very long time until we really start doing the fine cleaning but you can also see here i have been working on the light uh, the outlets the receptacles i have put all the gang boxes in um, wherever we wanted them in the different rooms i tried to um, put them at the right spots based on heights following kind of the rules that we have to follow based on the code and just putting enough outlets in all the rooms as you can see here with Elias's room putting uh, the right amount of outlets everywhere so basically this floor has all the electrical receptacles in it uh, or at least the boxes in it so we can run wire put the receptacles in it so we actually will have starting to have power we have the junction boxes or the big um, sub panels everywhere mounted in this floor in the first floor and in the attic so that we can actually start doing electrical i will run the wire from the sub panels myself um, the one thing i will have an electrician do is come and connect all these sub panels to the main breaker panel and actually give me power to the sub panels but beforehand i want to make sure i have all the wires finished in the panel so i don't have to worry about turning sub panels off and um, basically being safe the one room that is missing that i have not finished yet for the electrical gang boxes is our parlor and that is because we still have all the tools in here so one of the tasks this week is getting all the tools getting all the boxes everything moved over into our kitchen area so that we can clean the parlor out completely too and then um, my dad is going to take all the screws all the nails out of the ceiling out of the walls that we have left trying to clean all the old insulation that we still have on the walls cleaning all that down and then um, i will do the electrical next week progress is definitely much faster now on we don't just have to take out plaster run to the landfill all the time obviously we still have some of that cleaning to finish but as uh, i would assume when my dad leaves in a week and a half that most of that stuff is going to be done and we really will start to put the house back together with electrical boxes going in and actually starting to do the electrical we will probably glue the plumbing together um, finish all the the hot and cold water lines um, to the final positions that we haven't done yet um, i will then get an inspection so we can start doing the inside insulation and then we will work on the windows probably is the next big project after we finish electrical and plumbing so my dad also has been cleaning the outside of the house all the areas that we had something um, he finished getting this porch a little bit sorted um, all of the trash over here will still have to take a landfill run next week and as you can see over there um, we have already three buckets full of um, dust again of all the different plaster pieces that came off the off the walls um, probably by the end of the week um, we will have again a full load of just trash and stuff that we have to take so i think it's going to be one of our last few runs um, it might be one or two runs that we have to take the landfill but i think after that we will be done um, of the main runs to the landfill so that is an exciting um, step and milestone in our project the basement is now completely full of wood and other things that we are storing um, while we are doing the walls upstairs so 
we have obviously here you can see here the the door frames we have a few more here um, we didn't obviously take all of them out but the ones that we did are down here um, in a secure area where they can't get wet I understand here is where the water comes in but they are sitting lifted up from the ground so they should not get wet we have a lot of plumbing um, and plumbing related um, items here that we might still be using we have wood left over when we still need to do some framing we have all our windows stored here we have trim floor trim uh, stored here we have the door trim and the window trim stored we have a little bit of leftover flooring that is the flooring that we took out of the kitchen which is the top level of the kitchen floor we will use some of that as we haven't really made a final decision yet of what we are going to do in the hallway and in the um, living room that same old floor is still on top of the original floor um, so we might use this to fix some of the floor in those areas or maybe eventually if we get done much quicker with the project we might actually take out the rest of the flooring too and have all the original flooring but we are not 100% sure what we are going to do so that's why we are keeping it over here and safe we have all our doors here and then of course tools and here is the entire wood that we took out of the attic um, it is very dark over here sorry I don't have any better lighting um, but this is basically a gigantic pile of flooring um, wood that we can use for the kitchen area and then also in areas where we need to replace um, floor well I had Julie come by and she was looking at all the electrical that we have done so far and trying to figure out where we need to put light switches and um, different other lighting accessories so that we um, can install them in the next few weeks and I think this is it for this week and yep everything's looking really great a lot of progress happening over here it's really exciting so Merry Christmas everyone and um, have a great time with your friends and family Merry Christmas bye, bye.